Uh, hi there. Uh, right, I'm having problems with uh, the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, purchased the game, uh, and I've got the uh, early three-day access, which I'll be able to start playing on Tuesday, uh, this week, Tuesday, 1st of April. Um, however, I've uh, used my uh, uh, key to redeem the game, uh, download the launcher and install it, which I've done, but now the launcher doesn't open. Uh, I've found a solution to fix this problem and I thought I'd share it with everyone else just in case you're having the same issue as me. So you've downloaded and installed the Elder Scrolls Online Launcher which you can see here and when you try to open it instead of it appearing on the screen you just get the little launcher icon in the bottom system tray there. Nothing actually comes up so you can't play the game. Very frustrating. Uh, now so far, I have looked online and I've contacted the uh, Elder Scrolls Online support people as well and they've suggested several things, none of which have worked, but I'll run through those quickly. Uh, so first of all, it's been suggested to me that I run as administrator. To do that, you just right click on the file, run as administrator. I'm doing this inside Windows 8.1 by the way. So we'll just try that. Oh, it's still loaded the other instance. You have to wait for it. It eventually makes that disappear. It just seems to close itself after a while. Not really the best start to the uh, to a new game, uh, but there you go. I don't actually think the problem is related to the game. I've got a feeling it's my antivirus, which I'll come to in a minute. disappeared so run as administrator still same problem still sat there so running it as administrator doesn't work um, I went online and apparently this problem manifested itself uh, during beta as well and there was a fix that involved going into your internet settings uh, go to control panel uh, in Windows 8 it's network and internet internet options uh, connections, LAN settings, uh, and apparently if use automatic configuration is ticked and if proxy server is also ticked that will stop this work launcher working so just make sure both those boxes are unticked and apparently that should make it work. It hasn't in my case although to be fair in my case both those options are already turned off so I don't think that's actually my problem but maybe it will be for you I don't know. Um, so trying around uh, various things and one of the things I tried was turning off my in, uh, internet protection uh, which is AVG, uh, the full, pay, full paid for version see here, uh, right so I've got AVG Let's say fully activated uh, I tried just turning off the firewall uh, and that didn't work the launcher still wouldn't run um, the Elder Scrolls Online support people told me to make sure that the launcher was set as a permission uh, within AVG, uh, which it has automatically done. So again, I don't think that's an issue, but we can just see. If you go to Applications, there you see ZeniMax Online Studios Launcher. So that's the Elder Scrolls Online Launcher. It's set to allow automatically, so you would think it would work. But no. Um, However, I'll just try one more time. You can see the launch is still not working. It just sits there. I'll just wait for it to disappear. Very odd. I had similar problems when I first started playing uh, Planet Side 2. Their launch was also conflicted with my antivirus system. Um, I've seen on the forum somebody else having the same problem uh, and they don't use AVG, I think they used McAfee uh, and then again a mate of mine's uh, got a similar setup to my computer but he's using Avast and it works fine and the launcher loads up every time so 
don't really know what's going on. Hopefully, if it's AVG's problem, they'll sort it out eventually. Right, so that's disappeared. So if I right click, temporarily disable AVG protection, disable the firewall as well. So everything is off, no, no virus protection, no firewall. Double click on the old scrolls launcher, and hey presto, it loads up. Now what I think I'm going to do at that point, and see if this works, although so I can't fully play the game yet until Tuesday, but I've got the launcher up, if I re-enable my virus protection and my firewall, because if I'm honest, I don't really want to play an online game without having any firewall or internet protection on whatsoever. That just seems to be asking for trouble. So, AVG is back on, and I think if I press play, it should load into the game. So there we go. So that so far is the only fix I've found for this problem. And if you're having the same issue as me, I suggest trying the same thing. Disable your internet connect, uh, antivirus program and firewall. See if the launcher loads up. Re-enable your firewall and antivirus. And then try and play the game. And hopefully that will fix the problem until either Elder Scrolls Online or your antivirus provider or whoever else can actually come up with a proper solution that doesn't involve you faffing around. Okay, thanks very much for watching.